I have a very personal uh, attachment uh, with this place because uh, without knowing it, that I'm going to ever become a co-worker in this building. Over 20 years ago, when I was a student representative at the University of Brussels, who owns the ground and the buildings, there was a plan back then in the university to demolish the whole site and to put like new office buildings and housing on here and to get the money back and to do other stuff with that. And I was part of a, of a group of students and professors who were fighting to keep the unique roof structure which you have here. It's, a, it's an old building, it used to belong to the army and afterwards to the gendarmerie and they used to load from the sides the bombs onto the trucks in case of, uh, of war. Um, and it's quite nice to know it's an incubator now, so it does the opposite. We still release a lot of energy in fresh ideas and we change things, but not to destruct, but to innovate with uh, new ideas. One of the things we did to protect this building was to organize cultural activities in here to attract the crowd. And in the 94, it's part of the Kunstfestival des Arts, Kunstfestival des Arts, which is a cultural festival in Brussels. We organized uh, theater uh, in here with the Hollandia uh, theater group coming in and doing Lulu, which is a piece from Frank Wedekind uh, about a young woman seducing elderly men. So whenever I want to, I can still imagine the scenes of uh, <laughs> half-naked ladies running around here. And we were sitting on pallets on that side, which uh, there was no heating, so we had like uh, blankets on top of our, ourselves and uh, on impro improvised uh, stages. And the actors were on the other side. There was no bridge in those days. So we were looking over this huge gap between the audience and the, and the, and the actors and the, the story evolving on, on the site. And exactly on that spot I have my office now. So it's a really nice link how sometimes in life you do something as a student and 20 years later you end up as an entrepreneur having your office at exactly the same location. That's, that's my first connection here. The second one is I have a personal relationship with this some people call it the robots, other people call it the submarine. It has many names inside. But I started during a startup weekend with my co-founder, who I also met here, who is Eric Rodriguez, and we started data.be, which is my current startup. So um, the building on top of having this historic relationship also was like the place where I started without knowing it, my, my startup data.be. So it so shows a lot of the serendipity that you sometimes can have in life without planning too much for it, things happen. So it has a very good, a very good vibe for a co-working space. Um, but on top of starting my company here and meeting my co-founder, um, the activities of the co-working have been very helpful to grow the business. One of them is that we found one of our first customers inside the building, which is a startup called Edibex in FinTech. And on the technology-wise, we help each other. They purchase services from us, and we uh, have a, uh, help them with some of the stuff too, and it goes both ways. So we really have a partnership to grow on top of each other's uh, capabilities and become more efficient than what we each do in the financial industry. So from a customer point of view, we found people in the, in the co-working, um, but also from a personnel point of view. So we have a team member. At some point, we needed to have more technical talent on board. And um, the Beta Group co-working has a Friday lunch, which is a, a great uh, way to meet new people. Every Friday, a group comes together. We cook for each other. And there's like uh, uh, roulement, this, uh, uh, this um, rotation this carousel in which somebody cooks and the rest of the of the group eats for free and it has gotten has grown very big over time but so at one of those uh, lunches i said we I, I stood up and i said to the whole group if you know somebody looking to work in data.be as a front-end developer please let me know and one of the ladies who i had never met before said hey my uh, ex-boyfriend he's looking for a job and she was so kind to hook him up with us and he's now a permanent uh, employee at our company so we actually had the co-working act as a staffing uh, organization without any extra cost. Uh, so that's a very second next. And then as a spin-off of Data.be, we created a new company which is called Lex. And I found the co-founder for that company in the co-working as well. He was a lawyer working in the co-working with another business idea. And as it goes in the co-working, you have this very loose structure. You have a coffee together and we found there was common grounds. And because the common ground was good enough, we, we decided to, to team up and build a new company together. I'm extremely positive about Beta Cowork. First of all, I have my personal relationship with this building. Secondly, I met my co-founder, Eric, uh, in this building and we started Data.be. Uh, my latest startup, Lex.be, I found another co-founder, also called Eric. We found customers in this building, we found suppliers in this building, and we found our first employee, Stan, uh, through this building. So 
In all the ways to grow your business, in a very natural and easy way, I can recommend co-working and especially better co-work. And last but not least, this is the only co-working in the world where you get flashy, colorful shoes, better co-work shoes. So if you want to make your business run further and faster, make sure to join the better co-work.